so basically, what 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 is uh, what is important about about this is that the client has their core business, and they have to take care of their uh, uh, main uh, main activities uh, and and main processes. So they might not have the time or the knowledge, the skills to run uh, properly, to run a chiller plant, for example, properly or any other system. So it is it's. Uh, it's outsourcing this to uh, to a, an external company that can do uh, the investment for them and can also do the optimization and and uh, uh, and the day-to-day activities to run to run the, the cooling facility at the at the best. The boiler house consisting of three packages were assembled and completely weathertight and connected to the main system by the end of that same day. So it's as fast as that. So in 2020, we have delivered um, eight identical package units for a data center in central Paris, France, uh, featuring in each unit a water cool chiller. In, inside each unit, um, a, a large uh, plate heat exchanger, the associated pumps, and also the auxiliary services, including the refrigerant leak detection and emergency evacuation. So the packages were factory built and tested with um, distributed power, uh, onboard automation and controls. Uh, the completed plan was actually considered medium size uh, with uh, 1,000 refrigerant tons and each package unit measuring. Uh, that is solely targeted for uh, machine learning and deep learning uh, workloads. Uh, you know, whether it's uh, natural language processing, NLP, or CNN, uh, those type of workloads. Uh, what we have found is, you know, what cannot be solved with uh, uh, machine learning model optimization can be achieved with uh, hardware optimization, and that can reduce uh, machine learning training uh, times from days, months to maybe uh, some hours, right? So, um, um, you know, one of the things that uh, that we're seeing, and you know, with the adoption of AI, uh, there's increasing, you know, need for um, how to be sustainable, right? Like, what what is the uh, what is the way to do it? So, I see uh, AI adoption having uh, a major impact on two fronts, right? On one side, uh, you're seeing AI uh, driving sustainability uh, by enabling like more precise uh, monitoring, control, and uh, planning of how operations are done in the data center. Uh, you know, major hyperscalers are uh, developing uh, homebrew tools uh, with AI that uh, can actually uh, support those use cases for pooling and monitoring, as I was mentioning. 